What is going on with your plumbing license? And do you even care? Some people don't care what goes on in the legislative sessions or at the Texas State Board of Plumbing Examiners, but if you're a licensed plumber in Texas or you wanna be, this is a video you really need to watch. Now, if you have a Texas license, do me a favor, watch this video and then leave your comments and let me know what you think about what the board's doing and how they're doing it. So if you've never been here before, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified of any other videos we're making. So first of all, this last legislative session went really well for the plumbers. Unlike the one three years ago, the 86th legislature was pretty bad for Texas plumbers. Chris Patty decided he could take away the Texas plumbing license and nobody would care. A lawmakers re originally deemed the agency that regulates plumbers wasn't worth keeping around in a process called Sunset Review. First of all, the Texas State Board is finally full. They have actually filled all the empty seats and they've actually got some pretty good people on there. Now, I'm going to read off these names to you because I don't remember them all yet, but you got David Yelovic, you got Mark Savasta, you've got Thomas O. Rice, Thomas J. McDonald, William K. Clock, Milton R. Gutierrez, Darren Black, James R. Ainsworth, and our chair, Mr. Frank Denton. Now, I got to tell you, I've got to speak to some of these people because I did go down to Waco for the last board meeting, and I think this board is really doing things to start making things right, which... With the past boards that we've had, there's a lot of things that hadn't been getting done. So I really am impressed with the things these guys are doing, and that's what I wanted to talk about today. In this last session, House Bill 636 really affected the plumbers a lot. You can go look at that. I'll actually make sure that we put a link to it down in the description. But this has really helped out the Texas State Board and plumbers in Texas as a whole. And what that does, that helps protect the health of every Texas resident. This has allowed the Texas State Board to expand its capacity and help people in Texas get their license faster. So let's talk about some of that. First of all, the efficiency and the speed of testing. What they've done, they've gone to a computer test now. If, if an individual is an apprentice and wants to take a trade exam, they will send their application and fee in to the agency. The agency then will notify Pearson View that they are meet the qualifications and they're able to take the exam. And then the applicant will contact Pearson View. Is that correct? That's correct. Arrange a location to take the test and go in and take the test. And I'm hoping that the turnaround time on that is less than a week. And this is going to be great. And me being a lead AP, I went and took a national certification exam many years ago on a computer. And I wondered then, why didn't the Texas State Board do something like this? Let us go sit down at a computer, take the test. The board can still decide what's on it, and they will. But I could go take this test and then click on a deal that says, hey, now I'm ready to schedule my practical exam down in Austin. Well, we'll talk about that more in a minute because it's not just Austin anymore. But what a great way to do it. Go take your written, get it done, and then all you've got to do is schedule your practical. What they're doing to actually speed this up is not only can you take the written on a computer anywhere across the state of Texas, there's about 40 something different locations. Now they can reform the Texas State Board down in Austin and make it where it's all for practical. But the cool thing that they've done, Texas State Technical College actually has a testing facility there now. Now, if you wanna hear more about that, you can go listen to the last board meeting. I'll make sure we put a link to that board meeting down in the description too. But at that board meeting, they actually took us into the new testing center. And I gotta tell you, it looks a lot like the Texas State Board. Actually, maybe a little bit roomier, a little more room to move around. The cool thing about it is now they can test in Austin and in Waco. Some people don't have to drive as far, but if they convert Austin completely over to practical, they should be able to add more testing centers there or more locations. That way they can get more people in each day. One other thing too that the Texas State Technical College is doing, actually two other things. They're actually setting up a mobile testing site where they can pull this around to anywhere in Texas. That they are going to build for us a mobile testing unit basically an 18-wheeler with a box van on the back of it that will carry sufficient amount of equipment and testing facilities to take anywhere in the state. And they're looking at one of their other facilities in South Texas to see if they can do another plumbing license examination center down there. The curriculum that they've created at the Texas State Technical College is also going to be available at any other trade school or higher education facility that wants to teach plumbing 
to their students. I think this is great because it takes me right into the next thing, what they're doing for the high schools. There is actually a new curriculum, and this was done by Matt Schaefer, thank you Matt, the Texas State Board and the TEA. And again, this all ties back to House Bill 636, but now a student coming into high school can decide in their freshman year to start their sophomore year, and for three years they can actually take plumbing. Now at the end of three years, when they get out, when they graduate high school, they can actually go take their tradesman exam. You know, as a part of House Bill 636, students are now able to participate in a program starting in their sophomore year, which will be about a two and a half year program, that they will have a focused and intense training, which will result in them being able to sit for the tradesman exam when they graduate from high school. That is going to be phenomenal because think about it, a high school student can walk out now with about a $50,000, $55,000 a year job and that's going to help relieve a lot of pressure on Texas plumbing companies that are looking to fill those positions faster. They're also working on efficiencies within the agency. How can they help like endorsements get renewed faster? How can they help the licenses get renewed faster? Maybe even retain them longer. I've heard different things about possibly having your license for two years and endorsements automatically renew with the license now, not renewing each endorsement independently. What you'll do is you'll pay for the endorsement when you take the exam, but it stays part of your license for as long as you have your license. Again, for somebody with all the endorsements, that's a phenomenal thing. So first of all, let's do a quick review. Fingerprinting is something that's gonna make it safer for the citizens of Texas every time a tradesman walks into their house. Whether it's an apprentice, a tradesman, a journeyman, a master, RMP, whatever it is, they're gonna know that they're safe and secure. The 87th legislature was a great session for plumbers. There's been a lot of changes that are going to help us keep our license for a long time. And like I said, thanks to Governor Abbott, the board, Lisa Hill, everybody involved, the Texas State Board is going to be around and be strong, so your license is as good and strong as it's ever been. The speed of issuing licenses and the efficiencies at Texas State Board are being improved. They're hiring new people, so things are gonna get better for all of us. This creates a great opportunity for high school students to choose plumbing as a career and get out and make fantastic money. Improving and making more efficient the plumber's continuing education, that's something that should have been done a long time ago. I'm glad they're working on it now to make it better for all of us. And the reciprocity agreement with Louisiana makes it where if they have a hurricane or a flood or we have a hurricane or a flood, Texas plumbers can go help them. They can come help us. What a great thing to do. I think this has been really good. I'm really happy that we've got the new board. I think that they've done a great job. I think Lisa Hill's been working really hard to get a lot of things done. And I think Governor Abbott has really helped pave the way to make sure that the Texas State Board of Plumbing Examiners is there and strong and safe and the license that we have is as valuable and good as it's ever been. Do me a favor, leave me a comment down below, especially if you're in Texas, leave me a comment and let me know what are the big things to you? What do you think they've done right? What do you think they still need to work on? And if you're out of Texas, how does our license compare to you? How do these things affect you? If you're thinking about coming to Texas or if your state does things completely different, I'd really like to hear it below. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.